In the current era, space exploration is experiencing a rapid expansion, and humans are venturing deeper into the vast expanse of the universe than ever before. Space has always been a realm of the unknown, where science fiction meets reality and anything is possible. But let's now focus for a moment on the actual human achievements that you might have missed in the recent years and uncover the top 5 monumental discoveries made by humanity in the vast expanse of space and explore the strange and fascinating phenomena that continue to baffle astronomers and capture our imaginations. So buckle in, relax and prepare your mind for some cosmic excitement. October 2017. Scientists using the PanStar RS1 telescope in Hawaii spotted something strange moving through our solar system. This object, which was later named Oumuamua, turned out to be the first known interstellar object to pass through our planetary system. What makes Oumuamua so intriguing is that it's not from around here. Its trajectory and velocity showed that it originated from outside our solar system. After further observation, scientists discovered that Oumuamua is a small, elongated object that is at least 400 meters long and only about 40 meters wide. Its surface is red, similar to some asteroids, and it's tumbling end over end as it moves through space. This discovery has left scientists with more questions than answers. Some believe that Oumuamua could be a comet or an asteroid, while others have even suggested that it could be a piece of an alien technology. Whatever it is, its discovery has generated a lot of excitement in the scientific community and has reminded us of the importance of exploring and studying our solar system and the cosmos beyond. This is Venus. As one of the closest celestial objects to Earth, scientists have been discovering its wonders for centuries. But in September of 2020, an astonishing discovery of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere have been made. Phosphine is a toxic gas that is typically associated with biological activity on Earth, and its detection on Venus has raised the possibility that microbial life may exist in the planet's clouds. Just imagine for a moment, there might be another life form in our own solar system. Even if it's on microbial level, this kind of discovery can change the course of scientific research forever. The discovery of phosphine was made using James Clark Maxwell Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile which detected a spectral signature of phosphine at a concentration of about 20 parts per billion in the cloud layers of Venus. While the detection of phosphine is not conclusive evidence of life on Venus, it is a tantalizing clue that warrants further investigation. Scientists are currently working to develop new instruments and even a spacecraft to study the planet's atmosphere and search for additional signs of life. The star KIC 8462852, also known as Tabby's star, has garnered significant attention from scientists and the public alike due to the mysterious fluctuations in its brightness. In 2015, scientists analyzing data from the Kepler Space Telescope discovered unusual dips in its brightness, which were not easily explained by any known astrophysical phenomena. Some have speculated that the dips in brightness could be caused by an alien megastructure, such as a swarm of orbiting satellites or a Dyson sphere, that is practically blocking the star's light. However, most scientists believe that the dips are more likely to be caused by natural causes, such as a cloud of dust and debris in the orbit around the star. Despite the skepticism of many in the scientific community, the search for a potential alien megastructure has continued. In 2017, astronomers used the Las Cumbers Observatory Global Telescope Network to monitor the star's brightness over a long period of time, and found that the dips in brightness were not only irregular, but also become progressively deeper over time. 
This led to renewed interest in the idea that the star might be surrounded by a swarm of orbiting objects that are gradually blocking more and more of its light. Further observations and analysis have shown that the fluctuations in brightness at Tabby's planet are likely caused by a combination of factors, including the presence of dust and debris in orbit around the star, as well as a complex series of magnetic interactions within the star itself. While the search for an alien megastructure at KIC 8462852 may have come up empty-handed, the star remains a fascinating and enigmatic object that continues to intrigue scientists and the people alike. The discovery of the first Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone was a major milestone in the search for life beyond our solar system. In 2015, NASA's Kepler Space Telescope detected a planet orbiting a star called Kepler-186, which is located approximately 500 light-years from Earth. The planet, known as Kepler-186f, is about the same size as Earth and orbits its star within the habitable zone, where conditions may be suitable for liquid water to exist on the surface. The discovery of Kepler-186f has provided new hope for possibility of finding the life beyond our own planet. While scientists have yet to detect any signs of life on the planet, the fact that it is located within the habitable zone is a promising sign. Further observations and analysis of Kepler-186f and other similar exoplanets will be necessary to determine whether they could support life as we know it. Since this discovery in 2015, we as humanity have made significant progress in finding more planets beyond our solar system. However, this crucial first ever Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone discovery will remain forever a major milestone in our pursuit of comprehending the diversity and origins of life in the cosmos. Our final discovery to speak about today will be rather shocking because it's bringing us back to our own planet. Almost. In 2020, scientists announced the discovery of water on the sunlit surface of the Moon, which has significant implications for future space exploration. Using NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, researchers detected water molecules in Calvius Crater which is one of the largest craters visible from Earth. This finding was practically surprising since the Moon has long been thought to be bone dry. The water was found in concentrations of about 100 to 412 parts per million, which is less than what is found in the driest desert on Earth. Nevertheless, this discovery is huge because it suggests that water may be more widespread on the Moon than previously believed. Additionally, scientists have suggested that the water molecules may be stored in tiny base-like structures within the soil that can only be seen at a microscopic level, providing potential locations for harvesting water in the future. This discovery became one of the most important reasons for planning a moon base in the future. Current NASA's Artemis missions are focused to bring humans back to the Moon by 2024, which will jumpstart deep space exploration for good. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to know more.